Let's turn memes into music. People have been asking me, how? How do you do this? What's the process like? Make a video showing your process. So here it is. And I figured why not use none other than Cardi B, since apparently uh, seems to be a fan favorite. Can't imagine why. <laughs> But anyways, I went and found a clip that uh, I actually think is a really good one to sort of show what's going on here because she actually sings in part of it. And her voice is very sing-songy as it is, but in this particular one, she actually is, seems like, as far as I can tell, seems like she's intentionally, I believe, intentionally singing an actual part of the video. And then the rest of it is is uh, kind of equally singing, but I don't think it's meant to be singing. So I figured it'd be a good one to show kind of the difference between, okay, here's when somebody's actually singing and here's when it's just somebody speaking, no matter how ridiculously. So let's take a look at the clip. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Upgrading my life, you know what I'm saying? Got that new rose gold patty, motherfucker. You know my new Buick. Show them the new Buick. They said never give a broke bitch some shmoney gang. Woo! Shiny, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, that's the clip we're using. So let me see your best translations in the comments. Cause I, I don't, I don't, I don't have any. But luckily we don't need to know what she's saying in order to actually transcribe the pitches. So let's get to work. If you see me constantly going like this or coming back to the mic or something like that, uh, my computer's over there. A lot of people always ask me what's in front of me when I'm, when I'm doing these videos. The answer is absolutely nothing. I have a big window here that I'm just looking out my apartment window. So uh, there's probably a better way to do it. There's probably a better setup, but this is a nice, what the hell's the word I'm looking for? Light. That's the one. So anyways, yeah, sorry if I'm darting back and forth, but let's jump into this. Now the first part is super easy because all she's doing is singing happy birthday to herself. So let's let's figure out what key. Hopefully it's one key. Happy birthday. Almost D. Birthday to me. Perfectly in D flat, right on key. Cardi, I'm proud of you. That's That's phenomenal, that's really nice. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, she kind of uh, dives away from that rather quickly into a traditional Cardi laugh. Let's call it that. So what we're going to do is we know that we have... Happy birthday to me. <laughs> so now what we need to do we actually is we actually need to listen to each one of those ha's and figure out what note each one is. Okay. I think the first two. Hear that? So it's not, that doesn't match or that doesn't match either, but it matches. So the, the trick here is that no matter what comes out of her mouth, if she's making vibrations with her vocal cords, it's, go it's going to be a pitch. It has to be a pitch. Everything I'm saying right now, if you slow it down, you can figure out exactly what note everything that's coming out of my mouth is. So that's all we're doing, really. So now we need to do exactly what I just did, but with the entire video. So there's a trick here. When a note falls sort of like in between, if it's like, if it's microtonal, which means it's not perfectly this and it's not perfectly that, uh, we can really just pick one because obviously the piano can't play microtonally, but when, when there is a microtonal note, there's a really cool trick we can use where we just pick one because what's gonna happen is your ear is going to hear whichever one I choose. It's like, I, I just need to pick whatever one's most useful and closest, um, and then your, your your ears will do the rest. So in this particular scenario, I'm just gonna kind of base it on what sounds best. I didn't think that sounded as good. I think the C sounds better. Happy birthday to me. 
So that's kind of that. Wh what I just did is like it's the process is the same for the whole thing. So it's literally just taking the individual sounds, even if it's down to like a single syllable. And uh, when I when I first started doing this, I had to like slow down. Uh, I would slow down the entire track and divvy it all up so that I could hear things clearer. I'm a little better at it now. I usually don't need to slow things down. Sometimes if something's really complicated or really fast or just really hard to hear, I'll slow it down. But for the most part, uh, it's just listening to it over and over and over and over again. It's the same exact thing as like if you're a musician or you're in a music tool or whatever and you've ever done transcriptions before where you have to do it by ear, not by like, oh, let me figure out what note that is and write it down so I can then learn it off the page. No, no, learn it by ear, right? So that you can sing it back before you ever try to play it. That's kind of what I'm doing here. I wanna listen to every phrase, even if it's a single syllable or usually it winds up being like a sentence. Uh, I wanna listen to every single one to the point where like I can, I can speak back the phrase, but at the exact same pitch inflections as you know the person is using in the video. Uh, and then I can pretty easily take that apart and apply it to pitches. So in this case, we're going to do that. So we're going to take that, just that phrase. Upgraded my life now. Which I don't know. I got upgrade, upgraded my something, something after that. We don't know. Upgraded my life now, I'm saying. No, I'm saying I got that one. Upgraded my life now, I'm saying. Upgraded my life now, I'm saying. So you can hear in this one, it, it, it's very flat. It's very like monotone almost. So a lot of these notes are actually just going to be one note. Uh, da, oh, or microtonal. Shit. Upgraded my life now, I'm saying. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. This is this is gonna be interesting. Upgraded my life now, I'm saying. I think that'll work right there. Now, also notice that I'm not playing every single syllable because sometimes it's just too fast. Like upgraded my, uh, like upgraded my. Is it arm? Is that what she's saying? I have no idea. What the hell is she saying? Upgraded my. Upgraded my life. I'm saying. My 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 arm. I I I I. I What's that? <laughs> I don't know. Upgraded my life. I'm saying. I have no idea. I have no clue. Well, whatever. We don't need to know. So. Upgraded my life, now I'm saying. Ice? Could she be saying ice? I, I don't know. Anyways. Upgraded my life, now I'm saying. Upgraded my life, now I'm saying. Upgraded my arm, now I'm saying. Upgraded my arm, now I'm saying. Da, 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 da. I'll probably just go with that. I think the notes are the closest as I'm probably going to get there. For those who are wondering how I make these videos, keeping a straight face, this is how. <laughs> okay, so now we're back to singing. Kind of. Happy birthday to me. Okay, so something something like that. We're 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 in the ballpark. We're getting there. Uh, we just have two two really just two little sections to go. They said never give a broke with some shmoney gas. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. I'm afraid of my heart, and I'm saying got that new rose gold candy mug. I got my new Buick. So I'm the new Buick. They said never give a broke with some shmoney gas. Okay, so I think we're pretty well there. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so now we gotta add harmony. In the beginning, she's singing happy birthday. Now I have a couple options. I can either go the boring route and I can go, I can play it with the real chords. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna play the first two chords. I'm just gonna play normally because that's fine. So she goes da 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 da. So we're gonna go. Uh, uh, sometimes the device I like to use is I'll take the same chord depending on the phrase. So this phrase is kind of like, it's kind of funny because it's 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 just laughing, but it's kind of like descending. So it really could work well just to use the one chord, whatever I choose for for that first laugh, and just move it with the laugh. Uh, with that could work, but it depends on where we're going next. Happy idea <laughs> uh, 
does that remind me of? Um, uh, what is it? What song is that? Um, uh, oh, uh, we'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Is that it? I think that's it. Um, but what she's singing there kind of like, kind of works with that almost. Happy it's in the same key. Me. <laughs> Upgraded my wife and I'm saying that the new rose gold came up. Well, I got my new beauty. <laughs> Oh man, well it's not perfect, but uh, maybe we can get it to work. Let's see. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm waiting my wife and I'm saying, got that new rose gold came up. I got you know, my new bubin. You so the new bubin. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I, I, the, the reason I think the reason I like that is because um, if we're in minor, you expect to hear right this sort of kind of leading chord back into back into minor. But by starting here, right there, now all of a sudden we're using the major third. We're using that E in the context of like a sus sus chord sorry this wasn't intended to be like a music theory video but uh you know we gotta deal with a little bit of it at least um uh so it, it kind of throws your brain for a second because you're expecting to hear this sort of minor leading sound but instead we're playing like a major leading sound and that that's kind of like a just it's like a nice unexpected kind of transition maybe Now the reason I didn't want to do this is because she's her her note there is a C and that would kind of kind of conflicts with that sort of no matter how I voice that sort of minor leading sound it just doesn't work really well but it works great with like a sus sound right but that sus 13 kind of sounds major-ish which is cool it's a cool uh, contrast right so if we listen to that section. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, go back to that G sus sound that we started on. You know what? We're going to do that because it sort of ties it together since we we were there. We were just there, right? Because we were doing we were doing the da 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 and we jump up we end again on that one part. So it sort of draws a connection to two things that really are not connected at all. Oh, then we have Woo! That's perfect. It works out perfectly. That's nice. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Should have never given that. I don't even know what she says. Uh, never give a broke. Should have never. Uh, Should have never given that. Whoa. Yes. So there's a possibility we could tie this whole thing together because. We're here, like with this sort of sound. Uh, and she just came off of that and she goes. Same, it's, it's the same, it fits. So let's go back to the beginning and see what we got. Happy
So I think we're just about there. So now the trick is to kind of get it all together. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I my wife and I say, got that new rose gold came up. This is this is where all the all the the outtakes and all like the let's do this a bazillion times until we get it right comes into play because for the final product the timing really has to be perfect and so I'll just like if I screw up anything Cut it, go right back to the beginning. Start again. Ah, I keep screwing that part up. Almost. Ah, late. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm waiting my wife and I'm saying, got that new rose gold came up, I got you know, my new beauty. So that's a little bit of an inside look on how I make these videos. If you have any questions about the process you just saw, of course I didn't get into too many details, especially music like theory wise, which I can do at some point. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, it really does help out the algorithm and showing my videos to people. Uh, so that's that's very much appreciated. And uh, don't forget, I'm available on Cameo to take your custom message and turn it into a stupid song, which you can then send to somebody. Just head over to my Cameo, link in the description. If you want a song, select the business option. That's very important because there's two different things you can do. Uh, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing more of those for you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time.